Hello and welcome. My name is Merely Adequate, and I'm coming to you from TWS Season 5. Last episode, we made this great temple to Poseidon, and I had a lot of fun building these platforms to jump back and forth with a trident. And so, I went ahead and made some over to this Apollo temple. It's uh, it's really fun, but it's not quite as safe. I, uh, I had a hard time figuring out the distances, but I, it, it works as long as, you know, I'm on my game. Like, oh, okay, see, uh, I'm a little short, not quite on my game. <laughs> okay, that's better. Yeah, but it works out really good and it's really fun. But you know what? I haven't had enough. I haven't. I love this. This is so much fun. I want to keep going. So I think I have a plan for today so I can share this with uh, everyone on the server. I was thinking I'd make a mini game. I make a little bit of a, uh, what, I, do you call it parkour? I get just a trident course. It won't be super big, uh, and but I think it'll be fun if we do it in a way that everyone can play it, but it's not so difficult that they can't get through it, and then we can do maybe time trials instead of making one that's super difficult. So let me gather some materials, head over to the gaming district, and then we can take a look and see what we can come up with, okay? I think this is going to be really fun for today. I'm really looking forward to it because I've had so much fun <laughs> jumping around with this trident. I, fortunately, I haven't died anymore. That's been very good, mainly because I've kept my uh, elytra on. <laughs> yes, I know. Cheater, cheater. I know, I know. <laughs> but I can't help myself. This is really super dangerous stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Safe. All right, over to the gaming district. I thought this time I would build it in a different area. If you see over here, there's been several of the games built in this third, but this third and this third have been kind of neglected. So I thought I would head over here in this area and find a spot that'd be nice. And this spot looks pretty perfect, except for, you know, the neighborhood's a little rough, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, it's it's away from the bridge, because I think I built my last one a little too close to the bridge there. So it's away from the bridge, giving lots of room for people to expand over here. And I only need a small area here on the ground, because most of it's going to be up in the air. So let me put down a starting location, and I can kind of talk to you about how uh, my, my thoughts on the different ways you can make parkours and the reasons for running them on a server, okay? Um, I'm keeping an eye on you. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, um, so there are a couple different ways that you can make parkour courses in my opinion. I, I guess the not the way to make them, there's a tons of ways you can make them, but a couple reasons to make them. So one reason is to make a super challenging course that people work really hard at to try to accomplish one time. And those are that makes really difficult jumps and really difficult feats. And you're just hoping to get through that one time and achieve your goal. I personally hate those. <laughs> and it's mainly because I'm not very good at parkour. So I, I get stuck like part of the way through and I, I hate running them. So what I would like to make here is instead one that is still a little challenging, uh, but the point of it is to see how quickly you can actually run it and you can put your times up against other people. I thought that would be super fun. So that is what we are going to do. There's going to be maybe a dozen jumps or so. It's not going to be super huge, but um, hopefully they'll be kind of creative and hopefully people have fun doing it. So first thing I need to do is find out, I want my first three jumps to be pretty easy. Just get up there, get used to the trident before I start doing some of the more trick shots. So first thing I need to do is find out how high I can jump. Now I've got my cords here in the top left. I usually hide them from you guys whenever I'm doing my editing because it looks kind of ugly there in the corner, but I need to see it now so that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up and see how high a straight up jump is. It looks like just over a hundred, maybe 105, 106. 
Okay, so if I put something around a high 90s, then I can get up there easily and it won't cause any fall damage. So let me put two or three platforms going up in the air about that distance so people can get kind of used to jumping. Let's try that first. Jeez Louise, I'm gonna need a lot of scaffolding <laughs> for this project. This is just the first three jumps, uh, but they're in and they're pretty easy to do. Like if you stand here in the middle and pretty much just shoot as high as you can go, you can get up on these platforms pretty easily and take almost no damage. I, I had this idea about jumping into water and jumping back out, but I had a hard time figuring out how to do it without making a platform they can land on, where they, they're just going into the water. So I think I have some gates. Uh, I think gates are gonna be the trick. Let me uh, let me start it off and kind of show you. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go down to the ground and I'm gonna give you a demonstration of what I'm talking about and then we can try to build it up in the air. Okay, so here's my thought. An open gate can be uh, passed through easily and you can't land on an open gate. Uh, so I thought if I had a few open gates like this and oh, let's see, I need a, a dumb building block. Okay. Uh, now that, that is a containing area that actually will hold water, but you physically pass through it. And then if I do the same thing kind of up above, and if you see, the water is fully contained. And you can get rid of all these solid blocks. Let me get rid of, boom, boom, uh, do, 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 and do. Okay, and there it is. It's a fully contained floating source of water up in the air. And I was thinking if we made a really tall one of these that you could fly into it, stop, and as you're going down, get ready and then launch yourself back out like that. Oh, oh, oh good, oh. <laughs> okay, I almost died showing you a demonstration. And that's my thought. All right, there it is. It's huge. <laughs> I'm so glad that I, I went ahead and did it a little bit on the ground. It kind of gave me the know-how of how to build it here floating in the sky. But yeah, it works out perfect. You, you, you can launch yourself from here, go inside, and then get to the other side. It's a little bit tricky. I actually didn't need something this tall, to be honest, but I thought people might like something taller to feel a little safe. And then give yourself a nice tall launching, and oh no, oh no, okay, I got my elytra. I'm using my elytra right now for sure because, I mean, all this trial, I'm gonna die many, many, many times if I didn't have it. Okay, you go in here, not so, okay, great. And then, oh yeah, there you go. I was just going too high. Okay, super simple, once you, you know, learn how to do it. <laughs> okay, so uh, the next one I was thinking would be inspired, I was inspired by uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I wanted to go through some loops, uh, and I wanted to keep it narrow, so I think if I just do some light block kind of rectangles and then hop through and then get to the other side, it's gonna be a little bit of trial and error because you know, there's a bit of an arc. But uh, yeah, I was like, uh, I really wish I could go like the ding ling 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 sound when you go through them like a Sonic game, but I'm not that advanced. So uh, let me make some loops and then we'll try that jump and hopefully it'll take me less than three tries like this one did. Jeez, I can't believe I'm kind of embarrassed. It took me a while to do that on camera. <laughs> oh wow, it's already starting to look cool up there. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I told you, I'm doing uh, the colors this way so that they know where to go. I'm probably going to put signs as well, but this makes it easy. It's red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue. That's the plan. So let's hop up there and I'll show you the new jump that I have through the rings. Okay, here it is. It's a little hard to see that the yellow platform is over there, but it is. And uh, if you jump through the rings correctly, let's see if I can get it the first time. <laughs> uh, maybe, I, I think I'm gonna add my, uh, the sonic ring sound as I go through in post-production. Here we go. Boink. Ah, there it is! First time, nice! Okay, that turned out really good, I love those. 
Okay, I was thinking I want to go higher, so I'm going to do another maybe normal jump. And then I have this really crazy idea. It involves honey. And if you know, I, I'm a little bit of a honey expert. Yeah, yes I am. That's me. <laughs> so I think I have a fun idea. It's going to be a little complicated. Uh, if someone doesn't watch my videos or doesn't understand what's going on, this may be the only jump that's kind of tricky for someone to actually just guess on their own. So uh, let, let me put it together. And I may even put some signs up or something. We'll see. We'll see. You know what? I made it all the way up here. I got this uh, next easy jump platform, you know, just uh, as high as you can go and hop on. Uh, it's at a bit of a diagonal, so it's a, you know, maybe a little tricky, but not that hard. Uh, I got all the way up here and I realized that I should probably go on the ground just like I did with that water tower and give a bit of a demonstration uh, of what this is because it is a little, it is a little tricky. Um, I, it's. I'm a little worried about this one because I really wanted this to be something that people could just hop up here and do. But this is such a cool mechanic that I didn't want to do without it. So let's go on the ground and I'll show you kind of what I'm thinking. And then after I've done that, then I can just build it and I can show you the jump. Okay, does that make more sense? I hope that makes more sense. Okay, let's try that. The honey block is slightly less than a full block in size. So, in the corner here, you're actually touching the water right here. Now, I've used this mechanic in my starter base to make a bubble elevator. You can put, you know, the soul sand down there, and then when you squeeze all the way into this corner, you start going up. Now, I'm doing that because I'm pushing up, and I'm just basically swimming with the water. Uh, but, of course, the bubble elevator will push you up on its own. So there I am, I'm swimming in the water. Now I was curious if this would work with a trident. Actually, I should, hold on. I need to eat something. <laughs> uh, I may jump off of here and die. Let's let's try to prevent that, I got, okay. So, uh, I, I, I made this and I, so, uh, I, I came up here, swam up, now if you know, if you remember, uh, you can slide down honey, but, as I'm sliding down, if I'm all the way in the corner, look at this! You can! You can launch out of the water that's in the corner there! I think it's amazing! I, I, I don't discover very many things I feel is new in Minecraft, but I feel like that's a new mechanic. I never th I've never seen anybody do that. Uh oh I, I, I punched the honey block. Um, <laughs> yeah, that needs to be avoided. Uh, no punching the honey block. So, I think that I can build this in the air and then jump over to it, allowing the slime to catch you. And as you slide down, you have to be careful not to launch yourself back into the honey blocks. But as you slide down, you can launch yourself maybe 90 degrees of where you started and land on another platform. That sound fun? I think it's a really cool mechanic. I'm super excited. So let me let me build it and then I'll show it to you. Okay, I did it. It is done. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Okay. See, I'll jump from here, land in the corner, and then I'll jump across to that platform over there. You want to see me actually try to pull it off? You want to see this? Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I keep trying to crouch. Uh, but it doesn't stay down whenever I'm in the water. <laughs> okay, you want to see it? Okay, it's getting dark. Jeez, it's always getting dark when I'm recording. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Here we go. Out like this. There's that platform. Okay, see, there we go. All right. I didn't even really do that good of a shot. I think this is going to work out just fine. I'm going to leave it. So I want to do one more kind of jump that people haven't been doing. If you notice, I have a whole lot of like straight forward across. I've got a whole lot of like jump up really high, a couple of trick shots. But what I don't have is where you jump up, but then come back down precisely. And this is definitely one where you're going to die if you uh, don't hit the water. 
So I'm not going to use those little bitty one square platforms like I have on that blue one down there. I'm going to use like the platform I'm standing on now. And I think I'm going to use glass as a bit of a barrier that you have to jump up over and then back down into the water. Okay, here it is. The deceptive, uh, de 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 deceptively, <laughs> deceptively difficult part of the course. It looks simple. It's just a platform there, there, and there. But on most of these, if you don't hit the water, you'll probably be okay. Uh, m maybe the one where you come out of the big water tower. That might be. That might hurt you. But this one, if you don't hit the water, you will definitely be hurt. Let's see if I can uh, get this. Uh, boom. Okay, great. Yes, so that's how it works. I don't know if I'll hit all three. Don't die, don't die. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, yeah, this will be just about the end of the course. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, this I thought was fun. I want to come right up to the middle of one. And you can just barely scoot over, or oh, you can't see what you're doing. You have to barely scoot over to stay on it. And then I, uh, I did something kind of mean. I gave a little teeny tiny like regular parkour at the very end. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> see what I mean? All that happens at that point. So I can stick this landing. Mm, is um, you jump down. See? Okay. Oh, there we go. And then uh, you jump down. Now, I think I'm going to make signs. Uh, now, hopefully, you know, whenever you run it, you're not going to have time to read the signs because you're going to go quickly. But at least for the first time somebody goes through this one, I'm going to put a sign on every single platform indicating where they go. And the last sign will be right here telling them just to drop down. <laughs> it's a long ways down and you don't want to die. Oh, there's my <laughs> remains. Uh, and that's it. That is the whole course. I have a confession though before I finish. Uh, that last part killed me a couple times. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm so sorry. I, uh, <laughs> I wish I got it on camera. It, it, it was just dumb. It wasn't even me trying to jump the course. I just kept falling off. So I'll add them to the death book later. And, uh, and then, yeah, we'll finish this up. And hopefully we'll have uh, some guests come by and play it. Oh, I I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me finish it. One second. Okay, this is it. It's a little bit simple, I admit, but people will be spending very little time down here. They'll mainly be spending their time up there in the air. So I thought it was time that I probably give it a run. Uh, if you'll see here, so it's welcome here. Uh, leave all your stuff, armor, elytra, tools, totems. Oh, oh, I just saw how my totem on me. <laughs> okay, let me put the totem in here as well. Great. Uh, put them in the shulkers down there below and then grab a trident. I haven't done that yet. Grab a trident. Great. Uh, set your spawn in the bed. There we go. Um, uh, the, the, I see the yellow, red, yellow, blue pattern. If I die, yeah, this is important. I'm not going to have an endless supply of tridents in here. So they, they, and I don't want them to despawn. So they're going to have to retrieve their trident if they die before they can go again. Um, Add your time to the wall, which I'll hopefully do here in a moment, and I can take a little bit of food, which I have here, a little bit of golden carrots. I have this timer here. It's totally full of sticks, and I checked it. It works. No matter how high up you go, this timer will keep going. So when the light is on, uh, this is locked, and so nothing will flow down. I'll make sure that it's empty. So, uh, so I can start fresh, and then whenever I sit in here and flip the switch, I'll be ready to go on the timer, and that is it. Are you ready? Uh, I'm not. I, I, I can do all the parts, no problem, and, it, and I, I think I've gone all the way through once, but it's tricky. So, uh, uh, let's go. <laughs> No! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> 
what did I hit? I don't know what I hit. Time's the charm! Let's go! All right! Okay, what have I got there? One, two, three, four, five, almost six stacks. I'll have to do the math on that. All right, there's my time. Just adequate 375 sticks. You know, I'm pretty proud of that. I, the time may not be the best, but I almost got through the very first try and I made it on the third try. I'm super happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I think this is done. I've had so much fun this episode. I hope you have too. If you, uh, if you liked it, please leave a, a like and, and a comment. I'd love to hear from you. But most of all, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope that you found it adequate. Mm -hmm.